There are certain functions common to both Dexray X-rays and Dex Image images. This tutorial will demonstrate how to perform the basic functions that are directly related to these images. For more in-depth information, please consult your DEXIS manual or speak with our training department about your options for an on-site or online training session. General commonalities for both intra- and extraoral images are as follows. Enlarging an image is performed by selecting an image and clicking again to enlarge it. While viewing an enlarged image, you may change the brightness and contrast by clicking with your left mouse and dragging up and down the image for brightness and left and right for contrast. When you change an image in this fashion, you will always be able to return to the original image that was taken by clicking on the house icon on the toolbar or by pressing the B key on your keyboard to revert to your original image. With both small and enlarged images, a hook will appear at the top of an image. You may move the image around the screen by using the click and drag method. To reset your images back to the original location, click the house icon or click the B keyboard key. Each image will display with the tooth number and date. This information may be modified by clicking on the tooth number and changing the tooth. You may only change the date on an image if it has been imported from another source. Each time you enlarge an image on the screen, a screen with thumbnail images will appear in the upper right corner. The screen is called the Navigator. The Navigator will allow you to scroll through your enlarged images by clicking on the thumbnail images. You may automate this feature by clicking the Next After box. Turn this feature off by unchecking it. To close the navigator, click the Done button. To bring the navigator back, just enlarge another image. This concludes the training session on an overview of DEXIS Imaging Suite's images and navigation.